Hello lovelies! So in this video I wanted to go ahead and do something a little bit different. Instead of my more legging reviews, which I have a few coming and I'm very excited about those, I decided to talk about something that everyone who loves to wear leggings can sometimes struggle with, and that is undergarments. I think that all of us who wear leggings have struggled with you know, panty lines and different things and sometimes the leggings are terrible and so they're kind of see-through as well so that's a whole separate issue. But sometimes the underwear are very unforgiving on a lot of body types and so I went ahead and deeply researched a whole bunch of different kinds of underwear and what would be the best as far as like comfort and you know not being seen underneath leggings. I compiled a list of all of the different undergarments that people had reviewed on blogs and YouTube videos and I thought I would share the ones that I tried in this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you and will just, you know, help you negotiate the landmine of finding good undergarments. Now I do understand that a lot of people do not wear undergarments underneath their leggings. However, I find that very uncomfortable and unappealing. And I also know that a lot of people say to wear thongs if you don't want to see a panty line. However, just because it's not very hygienic and comfortable, I do usually stay away from that as well. I will have one thong that I'll try out in this video. And for this video, I'm going to use this clip here of these leggings. These are my most unforgiving leggings. They show a lot of different imperfections. If you have a dimple, it's gonna show it. And they are somewhat sheer, so I figured it would be a good way for me to show the difference of no undergarments and wearing the undergarments. The first brand that I went ahead and tried out was Princess Erica because the black seamless undergarments that I have used for my squat tests and previous videos and whatnot, they are my favorite undergarments and so I thought I would go back to that brand and buy their nude design. However, I then discovered that they were a completely different fabric and I go ahead and show them both right here. The black seamless pair are no longer available and the nude three pack is $14.99. On the left is no undergarments and on the right is me wearing the undergarments. So they do kind of cut in and I did not end up keeping them. The second brand that I tried out was actually kind of my attempt to find another black seamless underwear that were like the ones I had before, but they really aren't selling microfiber underwear anymore. I can't seem to find any that are quite like that. These do feel similar, but the top band is more strong, so as I'll show later, it does cut in a bit. Now, though I am showing the different fabrics and things of that nature in the video, I will also have that down below. These come in a six pack for $20.99 as I'm making this video, and in my opinion, that top band was just too tight. It cut into my love handles and made them even more pronounced, which is not my goal. <laughs> um, but over time, they might stretch out and become more seamless. The next seamless underwear pack that I got is a six pack for $22.99 and I decided to go with more colors and patterns since I can be kind of boring in that way and decided to mix it up a little bit. 
A lot of the seamless underwear that I'm seeing anymore have that like folded over edging that's glued into place and over time usually the glue washes out so if you love a pair of underwear that are like that I highly recommend having a friend who sews or if you sew tacking those down around the edging so that they last longer. I also noticed that my wear test for these ones were significantly different before stretching them out and then after pulling on them a little bit, stretching them out, and then putting them on. Out of all the brands, whenever I was researching, Cologne came up on almost every website as far as affordable Amazon underwear that are amazing. They are $24.99 for a six pack. They have colored six packs, they have the nude ones, and they have like black ones. So there is a variety. I went ahead and got a colored pack and I did try out a nude one as well for the wear test. The fabric on these is extremely soft and comfortable. They are by far the most comfortable underwear that I have ever worn. And on the inside of the crotch kind of area, it is reinforced and it has a brushed fabric. I figured it was only fair to try it out a few different ways. So these first ones right here are the nude color and I wore them for a while and they really seem to loosen up and not have harsh lines. The second ones right here are the dark brown ones and I still think that they do pretty good. They're not invisible or anything like that but they are very comfortable. The next brand that I'm looking at is Yummy. Now I tried out their compression thong, which is this one right here. That one's $14.95 for one of them. And I also tried out their compression briefs to see if they'd be more seamless. And that one will be $18. The black one is the thong and then I'll show you the briefs after that. As I said, I don't really wear thongs as a general rule whenever I'm working out for comfort and hygiene. However, these are definitely the most comfortable thongs I've ever worn and their wear test was flawless. I really do like how compressed they are at the top of the undergarments, so I really wanted to try out the briefs as well, since the thong did so well. Now the last pair of underwear that I tried out was of course Victoria's Secret. Of course there are different thongs and things that you could wear but since I'm staying away from that I went ahead and went with their hip huggers. Some people had mentioned that because the sides are so wide they don't bunch up as badly. In my case I did not find that to be true however each one of these is $10.50 a piece unless you get it in one of their sales or their kind of you know buy five underwear for this deal kind of thing. I would love to hear which ones you think are the best down below in the description box. In my opinion, as far as the most comfortable underwear, Kalan absolutely wins that. They are thicker and I find that I gravitate towards these undergarments more than any others because they are extremely comfortable. I don't know if I can quite explain it. They are amazing. <laughs> As far as if you are interested in looking for a really good thong, 
that you want to have be invisible underneath your leggings. The Yummy Thong is amazing and I would highly recommend it. If you want a pair of underwear that just kind of sit on top of your skin and are extremely seamless, the Victoria's Secret underwear are very nice for that purpose, although they do not hold their shape so they are prone to bunch up. So I hope that this review was helpful for you and really was able to narrow down your options and help you to um, find the right undergarments for you. And I am super excited for some legging reviews that I have coming soon. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Mm, bye. Mwah.